At the end of summer, we embarked on a four-day weekend road trip from Toronto to Sault Ste. Marie to Lake Superior Provincial Park. It took us about seven hours to arrive at Sault Ste. Marie, and from there we toured the nearby Crystal Falls, a bit of the eastern end of Lake Superior Provincial Park, and hiked over to the Agawa Rock Pictographs. We ended our time with a swim at Catherine Cove. Tap on the top right link to see the video of that first two days. An issue with the truck forced us to return to Sault Ste. Marie, two hours away, to seek repair. Okay, so right now we're on our way to Canadian Tire. I've a bit of an issue with the vehicle uh, on our way up. One of our stops, one of our rest, st rest stops and driver change, I noticed there was some sort of a noise coming out of the rear end. Not quite sure it was, it wasn't much, much of a noise, but uh, it's gotten gradually worse. So I went uh, to one of the shop up at, called TMS, uh, which is a 24 hour truck stop. The guy says they're closed anyways, but uh, he sort of listened to it and he put his hands, he drove the, dove down underneath the truck. Checked it out. These things, that's the uh, the uh, U joints on the drive shaft. Uh, I recommend I get maybe some. Uh, says if it's not vibrating, which is not yet. I, if I just get some grease on it, we should be uh, we should be good to make it back to Toronto. We only have another 720 kilometers to go, or give or take, depending on what we do between here and there. Give it a try. So I'm going shopping. Here we are, getting a tire. Got some grease. Some gloves so I don't get too much grease all over my hands. Uh, it's tough to wipe my hands afterwards. I don't go inside the truck my hands are greasy. Something to put over me when I'm down there so it doesn't grease and spray all over me. Because it's gonna, I don't want that happening. I don't like it. Okay. Later that afternoon, we toured the Canadian side of the Sioux Canal Lock, operated by the city of Sioux Not Saint quite Marie. Sure what to make out of this here? Uh, looks like a catwalk with some big boards underneath it, just like the one across on the other side of the canal. There, I kind of think that these may have been. Uh, some previous um, locks here and you can see by the gearing on the side over there there's some over on the left side and some on the right side and some over here these here may have, act may have uh, activated the movement of these uh, of these uh, uh, doors for the canal open in 1895 it was rebuilt in 1998 with an a damaged older lock a wall of which collapsed in 1987. So right now we're witnessing, witnessing uh, two boats coming through the canal. There's a gentleman over there by some control panel. I presume he will be uh, emptying out the water out of this great big area until this water level reaches the same level as the one down below. At that stage, these two boats that are coming in will be able to just navigate out into the uh, the other bay. What is that? That is the St. Mary's Lake Huron. Lower St. Mary's Lake Huron. The Canadian lock is used for recreational and tour boats, while major shipping traffic uses the U.S. locks on the other side of the St. Mary's River between Lake Superior and Lake Huron. This is just a tour boat back in the old days. This was actually uh, a means of getting through. People, this boat, uh, like I said before, they'll close the gates at the other end, empty out all this water. So they close the gates down there at that end, empty out all the water and to, to the point that this water will be at the same level as the remainder over there in Lake Huron. And then the boat will just carry on. Boats get, uh, docked 
so that uh, they don't uh, drift around too much. The locks are now, the gates are now closed. So the valve has been opened, we got it some time. One on either side. I don't know why you can see the water level already dropping. Water is dropping quite fast. How often a day do you guys open and close the docks, the, the locks? Uh, just whenever they show up, which is usually about oh. uh, every, every hour or so we usually oh, yeah? come to you. Yeah. Just, just these tour boats or other boats as well? Uh, tour boats and then recreational craft. Like we'll bring those ones up after uh, the tour boats leave. Oh, I see. So it's still, uh, you. I thought maybe it was just used for, for the tourism, but I guess it's used for, every, for it's still usable yeah. uh, do, uh, lock. Those are the old uh, gates? Those keep the ice off of the gates in the winter. Oh. Yeah, those will swing back. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So that's still operational. I thought maybe those are old gates that uh, from the old system, or this this all still just the original system? Uh, this is still the, well, the original mechanisms that operate the gates are yeah. still in use today, but the yeah. gates themselves are new. Okay. Oh. I had it all wrong. I thought those were the old gates. You probably had more steps along the way. Oh, yeah, no, no, those gates used to be up for those other gear houses are okay. Like, Instead of black rail gates up way up there, that's how long the lock used to be. It used to be 900 feet long. That was for, for the commercial shipping back in the day. Yeah, yeah. The commercial shipping does anything go? I guess nothing goes through here anymore. Not anymore. No, just they, okay. They all take the American locks. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, there's an American locks. Yeah, too? right across from us here is where their locks are. Oh, yeah. Very cool. Voyageur If you like to see more, please like and hit that subscribe button.